No Caesar salad with your Thanksgiving dinner. The Centers for Disease Control issuing a warning to Americans not to eat romaine lettuce in any form because of yet another outbreak of E. coli bacterial illness linked to the greens. Now there are still questions about where and how the lettuce was contaminated. Eyewitness News Washington correspondent Morgan Wright tries to track down some answers and find out what the warning means for food safety in America. This would be a good Thanksgiving to explore uh, that kale salad. J.D. Hansen with the Center for Food Safety says stay away from the Caesar salad because the U.S. Centers for Disease Control is warning that romaine lettuce is unsafe to eat due to an outbreak of E. coli bacteria contamination. This is the second uh, big outbreak of uh, E. coli in uh, romaine lettuce. The CDC says 13 people have been hospitalized and 32 people in 11 states have been infected, but Hansen expects that number to grow. There's generally 30 times as many cases as what they have had reported. So, you know, what we're talking about is there like 900 cases already in reality. The Center for Food Safety says E. coli is naturally found in animal droppings and the bacteria can find its way into the root system of lettuce. An infection by E. coli can cause kidney failure and even death. They don't know where it's coming from yet, so all uh, romaine lettuce has to be suspect. Hansen says it could take months to pinpoint where this all started. He says that points out a fundamental problem with America's food supply. We've been telling people to eat more lettuce and, the, and they've been doing it. And now lettuce is big business. We're raising the, the lettuce as an industrial crop and how we're fertilizing it, how we're spraying it. Hansen says we should focus more on farm to table and buy local produce whenever possible. In Washington, Morgan Wright, Eyewitness News. The CDC is also urging retailers and restaurants to not serve or sell any romaine lettuce until they learn more about the outbreak.